Hi ladies, Caitlin here. Um, I am currently four weeks and one day pregnant, if I calculated right. And I've been taking the first response and then the dollar general um, cheap one dollar test as well. And um, my line is progressively getting darker, but I don't know, like I'm kind of at ease or I'm kind of nervous because my line from yesterday, like it's been progressively getting darker, but my line from um, yesterday and then my line from this morning, there's not much change. So, which makes me kind of nervous. And when I looked back through Grayson's pregnancy test, um, within a four-day stretch, like the very first day it was on a 14th and it was very, very faint. And then on the 18th, so four days later, my test line was actually much darker than the control line. And it's not doing that this time, so it makes me really nervous that... I don't know. I just, it, it is getting darker, but I'm just not at ease. <laughs> and so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you, um, my test that I've taken. Don't mind me. My hair is still kind of wet. I just got out of the shower a little bit ago. Um, but it, I don't know. It's been four days. Yeah. Four days since I found out. So let's go ahead and show you the test. And I mean, my Dollar General test has gotten quite a bit darker too. I mean, not quite a bit, but some. Um, if I if I show the 48 hours, because that's when um, they've been testing my blood levels for the doubling. When I compare the 48-hour test, I mean, they're significantly darker. But when I go to the day-to-day -day test... It's not much, not much different, which, which that is the part that's like making me kind of nervous. So let me show you these tests. <clears throat> I hope you can see them. Like this, um, the 28th and the 27th. Obviously, the 27th was yesterday, and there's not much difference between those, which makes me nervous. But, I mean, as you can tell, my line has definitely gotten darker progressively since the 24th. Now, when you move over to the Dollar General test, I mean, they are steadily getting darker. But, I mean, those are the cheaper tests, so I don't expect those to be, like, significant because they're not as... I don't know what the word you want to call it. They're not as, um, they're not as accurate or strong, I should say. But the first response, I mean, they are getting darker, but by now I was hoping that my, my, um, test line would be darker. So, I don't know. Let's just keep a, um, a positive, I just need to keep a positive mindset. I think my nerves are just getting the best of me. And I really need to, I really just need to keep calm. <laughs> and it's really hard for me to do because of my history. So, um, just send many, many prayers my way and just hope that everything goes okay. Um, I go for... <clears throat> No, they're going to call me on Monday with my next um, HCG level. I got my last blood level taken yesterday. So hopefully um, my numbers doubled. And if I, you know, calculated right, since my number was 29, hopefully it's close to 60. Um, and it showed that, that it was doubling. And then they'll probably, my um, doctor's office makes me go in every 48 hours for blood draws until my number reaches over a thousand. And then once it's over a thousand, they feel comfortable to schedule my first OB appointment. So we will go from there, but 
Um, like I said, I just need to stop letting my nerves get the best of me because stress is not good and um, I just need to stay positive. But thank you ladies for all of your kind words. It's so nice being back on here and um, talking with all of you. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.